All right, guys, I'm back again. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one tube bait episode. If you haven't watched it, uh, watch it. Uh, it was on the uh, Obate tubes. Um, okay, again, another one. I said I, I was probably going to do one of these every week. Uh, let's see where I'll start. Okay, got another package in the mail. So, but today, something a little bit different. I'm still waiting on some others but we'll start with what i got here okay check it out some of you guys might have seen this kaylin's uh seismic grubs get it out of this ziploc bag but i ordered two colors with a bonus special uh, i think i paid 3.99 for the two again pretty awesome little company the outlet uh, bait and tackle i believe that's what it's called uh i already made a few orders to them and i'm Kind of liking some of the product and prices that they have but uh what i ordered check them out 3.8 3.8 inch it's a it's a high vibration paddle tail it's called the seismic grub check it out guys that is pretty cool i ordered the three inch because i throw more smaller uh, i tend to throw a lot of my swim bait i guess this is kind of a hybrid type bait between a, a grub and a swim bait because kind of what it looks like but it looks awesome guys uh i ordered it in this uh rainbow shimmer that's the color of that one 3.8 uh and then i uh, i got the uh this is called the lifelike red pearl kind of got a little red iridescence to it if you i'm sure it's even more in the sun but it's also in 3.8 inch uh let me go ahead and pull one out go ahead and pull it out oh wow it's pretty cool guys check it out i mean look at that paddle tail i mean I, i'm sure this is going to throw out a lot of vibration and i like the the front of it i mean it's a it's a kind of a it's a grub style front and it also reminds me of the six cents uh six cents has a swim bait I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. I just picked one up not too long ago. I believe it's Six Cents, and it's got the same profile body shape. See, it's not just a circular pattern. It's kind of look at it. It tapers down to the end. Oh, kind of comes big and tapers back. It's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I I'm gonna pair it up on a little jig head, probably a Mega Bass or something like that. I think would be good or this size you might be going with a smaller size hook and just doing it weightless that might be a trick going weightless with this uh this is pretty cool uh, i like it let's just look at this other one real quick there it is i like the packaging packaging is pretty pretty slick so it'll keep your little paddle tails from deforming but man look at the color on that one look at that it's pretty awesome. What is this one called? A shimmer? A rainbow shimmer. I mean, that, that don't look like a shad. Man, just put a shad head on the front of it, a jig head, and a shad shape. Oh, man, I think that would be a killer bait. I uh, can't wait to throw this. Anyways, guys, this is another just a little review. I'm going to be doing reviews like this through this COVID and through this summer you know i'm not doing a lot of fishing right now but i'll get out and test some product guys seismic grubs can't wait to throw those guys so uh, stay tuned all right guys we made it to the water uh i got the seismic grubs here and i got my new ones in the, th the three inch let me show you these real quick just gonna pull one package out check them out i'm gonna pull those out as well you see the uh seismic grubs here guys check them out check them out All right, I got them in a 3.8 and a 3 inch. Uh, a 3 inch coming in a 10 pack 
3.8 come in a 8 pack so uh, let's get these things tied on and uh, see if we can catch something all right guys let me show you my setups here I got one just on a regular little Texas rig here the 16th ounce I'm just gonna be just moving along the bottom the action is real slow on these baits I was thinking that vibration that paddle tail was gonna move real quick but in all actuality it's not I mean it's got some pretty good action if you can see it I really can't see it that good the tail just long swings on the tail uh, I think the action is actually a little bit better on the smaller one on this one like I said I got a mega bass turn this trolling motor off I got a mega bass bait in here see it and I think the action is slow due to this little ball that's on the end of the, uh, the jig head here and on my third setup it's just just a little jig head on the on the smaller one which I think I'm gonna like this action a lot better with this smaller profile bait I'm hooked up on one on the mega bass. There's a feel like feels like a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a decent bass, guys. Decent bass. Wow, choked it. Wow. Wow. That's a good hook set. There you go, guys. That's what the seismic grub catches right there. Second cast with the mega bass. Barely hooked. Look look at that. Look at that guys. Check it out. I'm thinking I'm gonna I think I got a favorite new little grub here. Check it out. Solid, solid fish. Solid fish. There you go. Go. Oh. Wow, I've never seen a fish take off that slow. Well, he must have got tired. He went straight into the to the weed line there. All right, guys. Pretty stoked. Something about this seismic grub paired up with this uh, this mega bass jig head, this the screw head. I think you're getting a lot of vibration together two types of vibration a long swinging vibration on the tail end I mean it just looks good in the water and then that prop in the front is putting out a lot of vibration as well there he is got him Another solid fish, guys. Coming up. Nice hook set. Nice hook set there. This bait is not disappointing me guys at all it's not a not a monster but it's a fish awesome and the way I got this one rigged up it's got it barely going through here and I'm going through right here on the tail end I don't know if you can see it close to that ball end I'm coming up and skin hooking it right there, just like that. Just like that. <clears throat> Broke off. Broke off. Wow, that was a big fish, guys. There he is. I'm not sure. Nope. 
<sighs> okay, he's hitting me now. He's on it. Got him this time. <sighs> okay, I wasn't going to let him get away this time. Alright, Texas rig is producing. No monster, but it's a fish. Another one, guys. <laughs> Where I hooked him. Wow, that's a weird hook set. Ooh, calm down, calm down, guy. Open up your mouth. Another little dink. The grub is producing. And the bait is awesome. It holds together real good, guys. No complaints whatsoever on it. And I'm not even spiking this with bang or anything. I'm out of there. Come out. What happens? They get on the other side of that moss, and you can lose them like that. Luckily, this one was a small one. Check him out, guys. He got me wrapped around this stuff. So I'm probably gonna take some of this stuff home with me, put it in my aquarium. Got a new light in the mail today. I'll tell you a little bit about myself, guys. Years ago, I used to raise fish. I actually used to have my own fish store at one time, me and my brother. So it's something that y'all probably didn't know. We used to do a lot of custom tanks, salt water, fresh water, uh, custom setup, setups and houses reef tanks, corals, and the whole nine yards. We were doing stuff before that show tank was tanked. We were doing stuff like that. Did it for years, guys. Did it for years. It was, that was our livelihood. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. Yeah, guys, so far, this one's sticking with the Texas rig. If I get to this other spot, I might see if there's some crappie in the area. I'll chunk that mega bass bait here too. There he is, he's on it now. Got him. Got him. Finally spit my bait. He's a little one. All right, I'm going to rebate my hook, put a new uh, seismic grub on. Check them out, guys, the seismic grubs. I got them in all colors here. I might go with the white. Man, I need, look at that one. Pumpkin, salt, and pepper. Check them out, guys. Seismic grubs. Nothing. He's on it. Called it. He's on the lay down. Let me get this fish back in real quick. Small one. Got a good one, guys, on the mega bass. It's coming up. Ugh. I mean, that's the second time I threw this bait today. Oh, he spit it. <sighs> have a good hook set on him. I just didn't want to let him run with it. But on the white, they got, I mean, hit it like a freight train. Something about this 
this bait it pisses them off. All right, I got another one. I don't know how good he's hooked. And <laughs> it brings out the bigger ones, guys, for sure. Look at that. Look at that. That's not the one I miss, but hey, he's a better fish. Seismic grub. There's one right there. That's a decent one. It's gonna take me to the deep. He's gonna spit it out. He's gonna spit it out. go there you go nice little chunk there Let's see if we can uh get a little bit of underwater footage let you guys kind of see how this seismic grub looks underwater uh i'll show you probably with the, the two bigger ones what the texas rig looks like and then uh the uh with the mega bass bait. All right, guys, so you've seen it, seen how the bait kind of reacts in the water. Uh, I know that's not really the real action because uh, kind of just has it. I just have it right next to the boat trolling it at like a, a two idle. So uh, it kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like under the water. You can see the long sweeping uh, paddle tail on that grub. And as far and as well, you can see with the uh, what you gonna call it there, the screw head. So uh, you've seen what kind of action it's got with the screw head. Actually the head wobbles like that and you have the tail action. So that's probably what's driving those bigger fish crazy. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit about the seismic grub here. Ah, this is all wet, but check it out guys. It's the uh, high vibration paddle tail seismic grub by Kalen's. Uh, bait company there so uh it was pretty interesting testing this bait out i really really like it guys so uh if uh if you like this video all right guys thumbs up, check it out like and we'll uh we'll catch you on the next one nice one thanks here. for viewing guys all botello outdoors i don't have my gopro with me i'm recording with my phone guys i had put everything up in my truck look how calm it is and i was just like i had to go out one more time and cast again and check it out guys we'll end in the video with this nice chunk right here